What's going on everyone, it's Baron here. Today we're going to be going over the 600 i but before we get into it, become a subscriber, hit the bell to get all those notifications, become a channel member or patron to help me out. Also, we got merchandise down, link below, check out our Discord server, use my Star Citizen referral code to help us get a javelin. Also, just enjoy the video. If you enjoy it, just subscribe. So today we're going to be going over the 600i and pretty much why you should buy it or why you shouldn't buy it. So there's a lot of uses for this ship. Um, it is a really nice, elegant ship. A lot of people think that it's not going to need intended purpose right now and it's pretty useless. I will tell you that it is not the case. It is actually really useful right now and that if you do have one, you know what I'm talking about. If you do use it as a combat ship pretty much so yes it does hold size three and size two missiles it has a size five weapon so it has three size five weapons for the pilot to shoot it has size twos for your um, pretty much co-pilot i guess so you've got a medium radar two medium computers a large power plant two medium coolers two medium shield generators you've got two medium two medium fuel intakes two medium fuel tanks a quantum medium quantum drive medium jump module a medium quantum fuel tank you've got four VTOL thrusters you've got two retro thrusters you've got four main thrusters you've got 12 fixed maneuvering thrusters like i said you've got three size fives now they can be size four gimbaled um, because of the ship being its size uh, you put the size four gimbal on it and use that gimbal to then put distortion scatter guns on would be one of the best opportunities to use obviously people were using this but during the xeno threat as well my, some of my friends being uh people that were doing this so you've also got the size 2 remote laser repeaters which can be done from the co-pilot seat and you've got your size threes and size twos uh the arrest of threes now saying this i wouldn't really go using this as a combat ship against small ships but i would use it against like an idris um, and whatnot and just sort of larger ships in general because it can take quite a few hits um, Building on top of that with the it being able to take hits as well You're going to have to overclock it out and overclock its shields just so you can actually get that Use out of it. So obviously you got three different variations Well, you got two different variations, but you one you got an executive edition that you have to spend 25,000 US dollars uh, so pretty much Legatus, which I'm grinding towards. People say I'm obsessed with it. Yes, I'm obsessed with Legatus because you get every ship, you get everything that you want, and you're happy. So yeah, if you've got Legatus, let me know down in the comments and sort of put people in the dirt with it. So with the Touring and the Explorer, the Explorer has an elevator, the Touring doesn't. The Explorer is pretty much for exploration. The Touring is obviously just to fly around, sort of like a like high class transport, whatnot. Uh, they're 91.5 meters long, 52 meter beam, 70 meter height. It's a large ship. It's 1.576 um, kilos. So it's also got a cargo capacity of 16. If you go to the Explorer, it's got a 40 cargo capacity. It does an SEM of 135 or 145, the afterburner speed of 150 or 950 or 975. Minimum crew of three, maximum crew of five. Obviously, it can hold more than five people, though. Obviously, being the ship that it is, being a larger ship. Now, this ship does have a lot of wasted space in it. It's not something that you would probably want to use all the time. It's just something that you would use as a luxury role to fly around, have a bit of fun, transport, so on. Use it in combat, like I said. Now, I do know people that use this quite regularly in combat because obviously when you're doing like uh, group bounties, they're really good for the, that purpose. But I'm always making sure you've overclocked your shields and your power supply, otherwise you're going to have a few issues of having your shields get taken down. But I've never really had an issue in this ship of it being taken uh, down or sort of had any issue of it getting destroyed. So there's always that as well. The shield pull-on is really good as long as you've got top-line components on it. You shouldn't have any trouble like i said put uh three distortion scatter guns on it uh size four if you don't want to put those on it always go through another build variation and have a look see what you like see if there's something there that's better suited for you uh what makes you comfortable is always important let me know down in the comments what you have on this or what you use it for because i know it's a great ship it's got that big wide back end i really like i actually did see an executive 600i which was really cool it's a cool ship to see so if you ever see one of these, obviously the person's got $25,000 in the game, the Gardas. 
Now, the reason being as well, people may pull this out, is it shows that they've committed to the game. It shows that they want this game to succeed, as myself. Uh, but it also means that they want all the ships. But that just mean, doesn't mean they exactly have Lagarde's pack. It just means that they've reached that point in the game where they have spent that much money. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much just the gist of it. We're going to go to the giveaway winner as well, which is Uncle Gary. Thank you for commenting, my friend. And it's not because he's a subscriber. I just picked a random person. I hope you enjoy Uncle Gary. I want you to message me. Uh, go onto Discord if you have Discord. I have the Discord link down in the description below and message me showing me evidence of your YouTube channel and I will need your email address to give you the ship pack at hand so that we can give it to you. Um, the next giveaway will be at 5,000 subscribers. I'm really just doing these videos for this ship as well to let you know that these ships do have an intended purpose now. They are a good purpose uh, of use for now. But obviously the elevator being broken on the 600i, I have heard that it has been fixed. I don't have an explorer, I have a touring just for the sake of having the touring. I'm not really too fussed about them. But I hope you enjoyed. This has been Baron. See you in the verse.